Hey everyone. tablespoons of butter. Um, so I have it here and I'm going to add the egg. Shredded mozzarella. And mix it to combine. Nice. And if you don't have mozzarella, I think um, if you have whatever cheeses you have on hand would be good. So if you have like a pepper jack that might give it a more like spicy kick or if you have cheddar or something on hand, whatever your family likes would be good here. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to put them into a muffin pan and you're going to want to make sure it's sprayed so it's easier to get the muffin cups out. And then it's easier to use a half tablespoon, um, just so you know how much is going in. And you're just going to sprinkle a half tablespoon in each muffin cup. Okay. And what does that do? What is, because that's different than a lot of the other recipes we've seen this week, adding this grated Parmesan into the muffin tin. Yeah, I think um, it's going to create a nice golden brown crust and create just a nice um, extra cheesy flavor yeah with the muffin cup that's a fun tip yes new way to use your grated parm so <clears throat> now that I've done that I'm going to fill the cups um, so I think that using a fourth cup measure just a little bit less than that works. Um, you can use a spoon. This one seems to work the best. I also have a tablespoon cookie scoop, um, and I'll just try that just to see what happens. Yeah, I love it. It works, but maybe like one and a half. Okay. But I'll go with the measuring cup. I like the measuring cup method. That seems to work really well. Yeah. Um, and everyone, you know, not everyone has a cookie scoop, so everyone pretty much has a fourth of a cup measuring spoon. Totally. So, um, 
this recipe I feel like would be really good to do with your family. Um, if you're looking for things to do, I know most parents are probably just always looking for things to do with their kids since everyone's home. Yeah. Yeah, something fun that kids kids could make and then also would enjoy eating. You know, everyone loves blue box. Yeah, everything's better in a muffin tin. Yeah, um, it's more fun. Yeah. So they are filled, and I'm just going to put one meatball in each uh, muffin tin and just press it down. Are those meatballs frozen, or are they thawed? Um... They can, as long as they're fully cooked, I, I, you could use them frozen. Um, these are refrigerated because I couldn't find turkey meatballs at the store, so I just made some. Uh, you just have to make sure that each meatball is half an ounce or a tablespoon. Um, you don't want it to be too big. Yeah, and you could use, if you didn't have tur ground turkey, you could use, like, any any protein that you have, you know, ground protein, if you want to use chicken or um, beef, that would work too, right? Yeah, definitely. Any other frozen meatball you can find, like Swedish meatballs would be great. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, after that, I'm going to put it into the 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. Okay. And for anyone that's just joining, um, we are making our mini mac and cheese meatball cups using our box of blue box. So that's the base. Okay, through movie magic. Uh, <laughs> I have some done here, but we're not done yet. I'm going to take the other half the mozzarella cheese and sprinkle it on top. Yeah, that just gets like and makes it even cheesier. I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you think that um, this recipe could be frozen once it's made? I think so. Um, once they're cooled completely, um, put them in a gallon or whatever size freezer bag you have. I think that would work. Um, yeah. Just for reheating, though, I think I would go for the microwave instead of like an oven. Yeah. Reheat. Which always okay. makes life easier anyway. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so then you just put that back in the oven for three minutes or until the mozzarella's uh, melted. Okay. And here we have the finished meatball, and I don't know if you can see, but you yeah. can see that the crust is like golden brown from the awesome grated parm. Yeah, that looks great. Um, and then you just take, here we're using Classico's um, tomato and basil sauce, but you could use any Classico sauce you like, and then you just Start with the sauce. Yum. That looks delicious. Yeah. And super cute um, for your family. Totally. And I think this, per in particular, this week was good doing muffin cup mac and cheeses because you can share them with other people during this time. I, you don't have to like share a serving spoon it's individually portioned so it's COVID safe. Yes. <laughs> and I would, I mean, just to round out the recipe, I think it would be great to serve it with something like a green salad and your favorite craft dressing, um, just to round it out and finish the meal with your family. So, um, all right. I think I, that's the end of the recipe then, right? We, we've made it. Uh, let me see if there's any other questions. So, someone's asking, could you use leftover meatloaf? Definitely. That's a great idea. I mean, a meatloaf is essentially a big meatball. Yeah. And especially because you used, um, I know the recipe calls for frozen meatballs, but you used 
non-frozen and it worked totally fine. So yeah, you could just cut it up into probably cubes or um, something like that and stick it in. Yeah. Um, let's see. That actually looks like those are all the questions. I don't see any other ones coming through. Um, so anyway, thank you everyone. Um, looks like, wait, we might have one more coming in. That's all, okay. Um, so thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, Tracy, have a great weekend. Everyone have a great weekend. Um, join us again next week. We're going to be making some of the skillet recipes that everyone voted on seeing through our Instagram stories this week and last week. So that should be really fun. And um, until next week, let's keep cooking together. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye.